Hello everyone and welcome back to WIS here. And if you're here for the very first time, welcome. Glad to have you here. So as you can tell by the title, today we're trying a pretty special bottle that I was lucky enough to find. I know I said that the very next video was going to be a bourbon hunt and I promise that is still happening. However, while I was filming and recording for that bourbon hunt, I found something pretty special. So let's talk a little bit about how I got it. Right, for those of you that don't know, I've been active duty military for the past five years and I've been stationed here at Colorado. So what's pretty great about the military is we have liquor stores located on some of our bases um, and they're called class six. So yesterday I went and did, I filmed a little bit for the bourbon hunt video and this is what they had. Roll. You got your Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof right next to the Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. And then that's the best price I've ever seen for Maker's Cash Strength. Old Granddad and Sazerac Rye. Right, so nothing really too special that I was looking for. Normally the only time that I shop at the Class 6 liquor store on base is whenever I'm looking for, you know, a daily sipper that's pretty cheap or cocktail mixers or anything like that. They had some great stuff, don't get me wrong. That Maker's Cash Strength had 41 bucks you can't beat. Um, and I actually bought a bottle a couple of weeks back when they had that price tag at 41 bucks. So overall, nothing really stood out to me that I wanted. However, there's still some great stuff that you're going to see on the next video. But today, uh, another buddy of mine, I got some great friends out here in the bourbon community that are calling me, letting me know when some of this awesome stuff comes in, gave me a phone call and said, listen, you have to run down here right now. He was still at the checkout when I got there because I live on base. It's right down the road. He said, you have to run down here right now and come get a bottle of this Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923. So a lot of people in the bourbon community are talking about how this might be the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And even today, someone that I talked to said that they would even compare it to George T. Stack which kind of blew my mind. And this is also the oldest rendition of the barrel proof. It comes in at 133 proof, 13 years, seven months old. This is almost a 14 year old whiskey, okay? I got this on base for $64, okay, MSRP. And on base, we don't pay taxes. So I'll probably never be able to find another bottle this cheap. And I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt um, that I didn't buy a second one, however, I don't even know if I like it yet, so that's what we're going to find out today. We're going to do a blind tasting of this Elijah Craig. Let's get into it. Right now, today, I'm doing a fresh, fresh crack for y'all, opening it on the video. Let's take this plastic off. That's another pop. Meh. Kind of mid, mid cork pop. I give this a two. No, I'm kidding. Right. Let's pop this right here for y'all to see. The color on this is it's really nice. Whoa. You know what's weird is like I don't like to compare things to other distilleries because each, you know, each distillery has their own uniqueness to them. However, I always find myself comparing things to what my favorite is. And I mean, like a lot of people in the bourbon community, I think Buffalo Trace makes some of the best products. And I will say this is the closest smell to a Stag Junior or Stag. Like the smell is there. It's super, super good. Let's see. I definitely get a lot of cherry notes in this. Some, some caramel, like the usual bourbon stuff you're going to get. I also smell the oak, but not in a bad way. Because I know a lot of times there's a difference between a bitter oak and a sweeter oak. And I definitely tend to like the sweeter oak a little more. You know, it tastes like wood, but in a good way, if that makes sense. And that's definitely what I smell on this. And weirdly enough, there's a lot of bourbons out there that I can smell like, ooh, this is about to hit me in the back of the throat. This one, I don't get that from, which is pretty crazy because it's 133 proof. And I want to say this might be the highest proof bourbon that I have in the collection right now. I have like 131, 132 proof, but nothing this high. I hope that the taste um, is just as good as this nose because this nose is phenomenal. Cheers. Mm. Woo. That is, I, whoa. 
Yeah, this might be some of the best stuff I've ever tried. I'm not even kidding. It's by far the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Initially, wow. So initially, right on the palate, right whenever it hits your mouth, it's very sweet. It's an abundance of sweet. Vanilla, like the soft caramel candy, if you will. Um, it tastes delicious. And then right as you swallow it, it all hits you. That 133 proof hit you for a split second and then it just slowly goes away throughout the finish. That is phenomenal. On the finish, you get that, mm, you get some of that barrel, that sweet barrel, like I said, it's not bad at all, the brown sugar. It, this kind of tastes like, almost like a breakfast, if you will. It's delicious, absolutely delicious. Wow, let's go again. This is also my first sip of the day, first pour of the day. Um, I knew I had to make a video right whenever I bought it this morning, so, and. Why not start out the day with this? I also get like a, a a fruit note, and I want to say it's almost like an apple. You know, like an apple. Definitely not banana, so I think it's an apple. I'm pretty bad at getting some of these noses, guys. But on the flavor, mm. this, I can't say I've ever experienced anything like this where... On the palate, it's absolutely delicious. Right when you swallow, it's like everything gets real high, real heightened in the flavors, and the, everything all at once just gets real high, and then it comes down real salt on the finish in the best way possible. I know that's a strange explanation. I know that's weird, but I am telling you, if you have not tried this yet, or if you can find this, because I know this stuff is kind of hard. They come out in their certain batches. Only certain stores get it. But if you can find this, please do yourself a favor and buy it. I know I see it sometimes go as much as $100. Um, even secondary gets a little higher, secondary prices. Like I said, I paid 65 for this, uh, somewhere in that ballpark, I can't even remember, but 65 bucks for this, and I would easily pay 100, 120 even. I don't like to dive into secondary prices, but I know now that I've tried this, if I can never find it again, and someone's selling it for 100, 120 bucks, I'm gonna buy it for sure. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is the official review of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923. I give this a solid 10 out of 10. I can't find anything wrong with it. I wouldn't change a thing about it, so it deserves that score all day long. And for those of you that have tried it, I'd love for you to let me know in the comments, what did you think about this? If you're new here, please subscribe. Everyone drop a like. Follow us over on Twitch and Instagram at Whiskier. On Twitch, we play a lot of games. We drink bourbon. We talk bourbon, whiskey, whatever it may be. It's a great time always. And on Instagram, I plan on posting reels, photos, when we're live, when the videos are live on YouTube here. So go ahead and check us out on Instagram as well. And also, for future videos, we're heading to Louisiana. I'll be in Louisiana for two weeks at the end of this month. I'm hoping that we can get in contact with a distillery, a local distillery there that is near and dear to my heart. Hopefully we get to tour them, uh, talk to the master distiller, catch that on film. If not, we're definitely going to do some bourbon hunts in Louisiana and of course bourbon hunts here in Colorado. So thank you again so much. Later.